Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So Eternity of Pain is back with another set of challenges. Uh, this is week one. We're going to be fighting Hercules. And I'm choosing to go in here with Elsa Bloodstone because she meets all of the objectives for Thronebreaker. I'm not Paragon yet. I'm working on it. Now, you may have seen that I had about three hours and a half. Uh, and you might think that I waited till the last minute. Ignore that. But anyway, this fight was actually pretty straightforward and I'm gonna show you from beginning to end. You saw that this is the first time I'm going in here. And I had a plan, all right? I wanted to see how Elsa worked. Now I'm running suicides. Uh, my Elsa is rank two, and I don't have any boosts on right now because I'm not really uh, making this a, a real attempt. Okay, I just want to see how it works, see how this fight goes. So I'm just going in, not doing much. I'm just trying to watch the timers because, of course, I don't want to get hit with that unblockable. All right. And, yeah, got hit with the unblockable anyway, trying to evade. So I was just like, okay, well, whatever. That that didn't bode too well. Tried to swipe back and still got hit. Cool. All right. And here we go. Now, the one thing about this fight was that the AI was very passive. And that's very frustrating. Okay. So that was my first attempt at uh, trying to take down this Hercules. And I'm like, okay, I think I've got the, um, you know, basic strategy for this fight. But let's, you know, try it again, make sure that I can uh, get this guy down. Uh, I'm not trying to go for a one shot, but it wouldn't be, you know, unwanted, you know unappreciated but i'm not trying to get the uh one shot here all right so pretty straightforward i'm just going in the main thing about this is watching those timers and not getting caught by um his unblockable mode like right here he's indestructible and unblockable this is when you want to either intercept or stay away from him all right you can play it safe and just stay away from them if you like. Or you can just start um, intercepting. And I don't feel safe trying to intercept, especially when the AI is being somewhat passive. And we'll see that a little bit later. All right, I got nervous right there because I saw his power just going up. And I'm like, am I about to eat a special three? But I didn't. And you'll notice here, I don't do a lot of um, intercepting. I'm just doing basic attacks. I do hit into the block a little bit. That's just to kind of get him to attack me. But also, you want to be careful with that because in this fight, that's going to give him more power. Now, you can use that to your benefit. If he's way below a bar of power and you're trying to bait out a special, hit into his block. He'll get that bar of power and then you can bait it out. So you can play around. Now, as you can see, I'm already doing better than I did the first time. All right. And so I'm like, okay, all right. Um, read the nodes. Knocking him down uh, will clear out. Uh, I forgot what it is that they it puts on you. Um, but it decreases your uh, ability accuracy. So you really want to knock him down. Uh, as much as possible to clear those before you fire off a special attack or, or something like that that you're about to do. All right, so we're just going in. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is working pretty well. You know, if she was boosted right now and, you know, if I had her at rank three, this, this fight would be really nice. Now... A lot of people underestimate Elsa. And people ask me in my live stream all the time, is Elsa any good? And I'm like, yeah, she's underrated, but yeah, she is. Uh, I took her to a rank two. Now I didn't take her to rank three 
but I may still take her to rank three. It's just that I had other champions that I wanted to take to rank three before her. All right, but just look at this. She's tearing it up, okay? Now, I'm taking a lot of uh, damage or retaliatory damage, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, and you saw I was able to um, knock him down. And again, that happens when my dash just fails. And you can see that I'm dashing, I'm dashing, and then suddenly I'm not dashing. I'm just standing there and getting hit. So it happens. But I looked here, and I'm like, you know what? That was actually a pretty good run. So I'm like, you know what? Let's make that into our first attempt. And as you can see here, I've got three revives that are expiring. So I'm like, you know, let's just go ahead. Let's just uh, try to get him down. You know, now, if we do just as good as we did that first one and everything works well, that's one revive. And we'll, you know, get him down. Like I said, I'm not going for the... Uh, uh, one shot or anything. So I went ahead and used a revive, healed up a little bit, uh, because I'm going to be taking damage, as you saw, uh, regardless. And we're going to go in again, but this time I'm going to boost up a little bit. Like I said, uh, the other one wasn't really an attempt until it was. You know, I, I could have boosted up from the beginning, but I wanted to boost up only when I was ready. And when I saw how well that, you know, the second attempt went, I was like, all right, you know what? We're just going to keep it, boost up. Let's see if we can't get him down. So pretty much the same as the first fight, except you're going to notice something. The AI really decided not to play ball in this one. And you'll, you'll see it. And that's one of the major complaints that I heard about this one all right and I do take damage um I forgot what it's called brute force I think um if I don't hit him uh after a certain amount of time I, I always forget six seconds something like that and with him being passive that's really annoying because you're like come on fight so I can hit you and all he's doing is blocking and gaining power and I'm like okay and see now he fired his special off and I'm still not able to hit him so look at all the damage that I just took and I haven't even gotten hit that's why I healed up and I'm just like okay this is this is insane and annoying but whatever we're still going in still getting that you know attack in there boom uh, I did that special just before he was about to go uh, unblockable, indestructible. All right. And see, look at this. He's, he's playing around. Look at this. He's just playing. All right. Finally got him to fire off that special, but look at my health. So that, that to me was the most annoying part about this fight. Look at this. And then he fires his special off. I still can't hit him. Finally, I get in there to hit him. But I got 1% health left, so I just decided to fire off my special. For well, you know, I mean, may as well. But that was really annoying right there. You know, and so I'm like, all right, whatever, you know. I got I got a couple more revives uh, that I can use. Um, but I could see at this point that he was going to be annoying. You know, now that I've committed to trying to take him down, now he's going to be annoying kind of lull me into that uh false sense of security or something all right so you can see here we're just going in and i'm trying to do as much damage early on because he seemed to be more willing to fight i'm able to intercept him every once in a while here just look at that boom so we did a lot of damage right there and now it's his time to play you can see how he's just look at this it's just just won't throw it and my health is just going down look at that i'm trying to get him to fight look 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 he won't do nothing come on fire it fire it 
Nothing. Nothing. Just come on, fire it. Nothing. Look at my health. Health is just going down. Finally, he fires the special. But look at my health. All of that damage he did just by being passive. Just by not firing a special. And then he just battered into my block and got me. So that was frustrating. That was definitely frustrating. The fight is easy and straightforward. The AI being that passive, to me, was not really fair. Because you can't really control that. Now, I know some people that got the one shot. I don't know how many times they tried. Or they just got lucky and got a nice active AI. I know there was another node. I forget what it was. Uh, Foresight, I think. Which helped uh, with that. Um, <clears throat> but as you can see here. We're got, we getting him. We getting him. He's immortal. But that's okay. We just need to wait out that immortality. Come on. Come on. I already got a special. One, one, one. Come on. Boom. Finally. We got him down. All right. So definitely soloable. I've seen plenty of solos. I liked using Elsa. I wish I had her at rank three uh, for this fight because she was great for it. And she's just awesome. I, I do like her. Uh, and she met all of the criteria, so I only had to do that fight one time. So that was beautiful. All right, you can see there. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.